Good day, viewers. I'm so delighted to be with you again today, presenting the Open Heavens Reflections based on the Open Heavens Prayer Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Bomi Adekola, and I'm a pastor in Christ Love Assembly in Didcot, Oxfordshire. The topic for consideration today says Thieves in the Sanctuary, Part 2, is in a series. Is it possible to have thieves in the church of God? Yes, we'll see. Our Bible passage today is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 2, the 12th to the 17th verse. And I read, Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. They knew not the Lord, and the priest's custom with the people was that when any man offered sacrifice, the priest's servant came while the flesh was in the seething with a flesh hook of three teeth in his hand. And he struck it into the pan or kettle or cauldron or pot. All that the flesh hook brought up, the priest took for himself. So they did in Shiloh unto all the Israelites that came thither. Also the burnt the fat, the priest's servant came and said to the men that sacrificed, Give flesh to roast for the priest, for he will not have sudden flesh of thee, but raw. And if any man said unto him, Let them not fail to burn the fat presently, and then take as much as thy soul desirest, then he will answer him, Nay, but thou shalt give it me now, and if not, I will take it by force. Wherefore the sin of the young men was very great before the Lord. For men abhor the offering of the Lord. Our memory verse is taken from Romans chapter 2, the 21st verse. Thou therefore which teachest another, teachest not thyself? Thou that preachest, the man should not steal. Dost thou steal? That's a question for us. All of us who call ourselves children of God, particularly the servants of God, to answer our reflections together. They are child of God. It is a very dangerous thing to treat with disrespect anything that belongs to God. In our Bible reading today, we read about the sons of Eli the priest, who treated the Lord's sacrifice with great disrespect and contempt. They disregarded the instructions that God had given to priests years before then about how the temple sacrifices should be carried out. They threw the ordinances of the sanctuary out of the window and did as they liked. In this story, they were taking the part of the sacrifices that belonged to God and not to be taken by the priests. No long after this, the judgment of God was unleashed upon them and their end was sudden and horrible. Do you know that today, some ministers of God are converting what belongs to God to their personal use? Sometimes they even tell people that they are raising a particular offering by God's instructions, whereas the offerings are going into their pockets. Sometimes they ask for donations for one project, but go on to divide the proceeds to another one without even letting the people be aware. Beloved, we must pray and ask God to deliver us from the love of money. Because as the Bible says, it is the root of all evil, according to 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. Many people have gotten into big trouble with God, like the sons of Eli the priest, because they love money passionately and are guilty of greed. Another point raised by Pastor Adeboye in today's devotional commentaries is that some people unnecessarily want to monitor how the ministers spend their tithes and offerings. This is not needful, and God has not appointed us to supervise how the money brought to his house is spent. Unless you have been duly authorized, you have no right to begin to ask for details of how the money was spent. This could be deemed as an affront to divine authority. We need to pray together and say, God, help us to behave ourselves appropriately with regards to the matter of money in the house of God in the name of Jesus we are praying again and we are saying together father please deliver me deliver me from the demon called mammon don't let me end up like Judas Iscariot 
the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with us all. See you very, very soon. And God bless you mightily. Bye.